Agathe and I work for China School in France and uh, for fashion, engineering and management schools in France. Uh, I hope you can hear me. So if you can hear me, you can write something on the chat just to say hello, um, you, just to, to know if, if it's okay for you. Perfect. So I think it's good. So um, I work for Jaina School in France and uh, I'm here with a representative uh, from uh, ESCP Europe, uh, Nathalie Quintin. Hello, Nathalie. Hello, everyone. Hello, again. She is um, international uh, manage, um, international and recruitment and promotion manager at ESCP Europe, uh, and I'm an international project manager at Joint School in France. And uh, so today uh, we will discuss um, in the introduction to Joint School in France, introduction to ESCP Europe. Then we will have some questions for ESCP Europe and then uh, Natalie will go into details uh, about the programs and the career opportunities after doing a master's in management at ESCP Europe. And um, the second part is, um, is the technical part uh, about the, the process to apply for the master's in management uh, in the top ranked uh, schools in France. So, um, we will, uh, uh, first of all, um, before we start, I would just like to say a few words about Joint School in France, uh, which allows international students um, to apply in French schools uh, through one easy online application. Uh, but now uh, I will let uh, Nathalie uh, introduce uh, herself and tell you about ESCP Europe. Thank you, Agathe. So, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Natalie Quentin Gesselius. Uh, as Agathe mentioned, I'm in charge of international recruitment for the Master in Management program. Um, so, ESCP Europe, um, you may have heard about it. Uh, hopefully, you've done your homework. Uh, it's a school with, uh, in effect, a campus in Paris and it's the main uh, campus. It was founded in 1819, so we're actually celebrating the bicentenary of the school uh, this year, and to be more precise, this month, and there is a huge gala, a huge celebration uh, organized in a couple of days, so uh, it's really a big uh, milestone for the school, and it's been around for 200 years. Um, also, maybe one um, striking fact about the school is we have different uh, campuses in different countries. So I will go uh, more into the details of the program later on, but you have a lot of uh, possibilities um, as far as the location of your studies. A lot of things obviously happen in Paris, a lot of specialization for the second year. So the vast majority of uh, our Grand École Master in Management students spend uh, some time in Paris. And um, yeah, so I'll go into more of the specificities a bit later on. Uh, maybe just another uh, key fact about the school. Uh, we have a very strong alumni network with around 55,000 uh, alumni worldwide. So it means that uh, even if you study in Paris, most likely you will get uh, to meet alumni all over the world. So no matter where you end up working in the future, you will most likely find some of your, of your classmates, former classmates and fellow alumni somewhere uh, in the world. So, yes. Yes, thank you, Nathalie, because um, uh, just to uh, to add something, uh, alumni is the perfect international network for us and um, for our community, and uh, um, because we will see the importance of alumni uh, worldwide, um, thanks to, for example, for the interviews. But uh, we will see it uh, yeah. um, after. <laughs> I, I will let you speak about that later. <laughs> yes. yes. And uh, so, can you say, uh, what does the term Grand École mean? So, um, well, that's a very technical <laughs> French word. Uh, to basically, um, if I were to compare, it's 
similar to the American Ivy League. So it means that it's um, a number of schools which requires that you take two years of preparatory classes before you join the program. And you have technical schools and business schools that do work with that system. So it's a very French uh, uh, system outside of the public um, university uh, sector. So most of the business schools nowadays are either uh, private or they're um, operated by the Chamber of Commerce or um, the public sector. So semi-public, semi-private in uh, some cases. And basically it means that um, as an international student, since you don't have to go through those uh, preparatory, preparatory classes, sorry, uh, you have what we call uh, parallel admissions. And basically, you uh, enter directly the master program. You don't have to join the pre-master year. Um, and uh, you have a previous degree, usually a bachelor or a three-year university diploma. And we're recruiting students and selecting students based on their um, academic achievements, so we're looking at the school where you studied for your bachelor degree. Uh, we look at, of course, um, the consistency of your grades. You have to be one of the top students in your class to uh, to be selected. And of course, we're also looking at a number of other um, elements in your application, uh, such as international exposure or if you have some previous work experience, some internships. So anything in your profile prior to joining the school is interesting to us. And uh, we're uh, really looking, of course, at um, very solid, uh, academically speaking, uh, candidates. But of course, everything else that happens during your studies is also uh, quite important to us. So if you join a Grand Ecole, it means you're joining one of the top uh, business schools in France. Thank you. And uh, why should international candidates come to France to do a master's in management? Well, I think there are a lot of different reasons to uh, to join a, a school in France. Probably most of you have some uh, interest in the culture or the language as maybe a first uh, reason to, to be coming to France, but obviously if you're going to spend a couple of years uh, in France or in Europe, maybe you're considering also the professional perspectives and uh, job opportunities that you might find uh, here. So obviously, France, and I, I can speak for Paris as the school is based in Paris, uh, it's a great platform, uh, whether you're interested in working in a big company or even a startup, the, the, the possibilities are uh, very um, varied and I think you get a lot of opportunities obviously through the school as well. Uh, so France can be a choice for that reason. Uh, in recent years, I would say the uh, visa regulation is also quite favorable uh, to international students. So contrary to other countries where maybe it's a bit more difficult nowadays to get uh, stay back visas or permits to stay on after your studies. In France, it's uh, actually quite flexible nowadays and I can't say for each and every country, but uh, for Indian applicants, I know for uh, students from uh, China, from Lebanon, you get from six months to one year of a stay back visa after your master's degree. So it really gives you a chance to explore uh, the job market. And it's easier for companies to employ you on such a visa. So you have a lot of possibilities. Um, Obviously, you have to work for it, but uh, I think uh, France as a destination, obviously, for um, launching your career is a great choice. So, Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for this description. And um, for you, what are the specificities of your Master's in Management at ESCP Europe? Or uh, I think... <laughs> yes. Yeah, 
the uniqueness of the school. Well, I think everyone will say they're unique. Um, maybe the most um, uh, striking uh, fact about the school is really our uh, six European campuses. So it gives you possibilities um, to customize your curriculum. If you're interested, obviously, in learning French or uh, studying in Paris, you can spend uh, up to two semesters in the same campus and then you have to um, move to another uh, ESCP location. Uh, but that gives you also the opportunity to meet with other students. So it means that um, out of a cohort of 950 uh, students, not everyone will be studying in the same campus at the same time. and since you're all moving on a rotating basis each semester or every two semesters, uh, you have many networking opportunities with your classmates. Um, you have a lot of um, possibilities also in terms of specializations. So even though it's a general management course and you get a degree in management, you will be able to personalize the content of your program by choosing maybe a specialization in finance, in marketing, if you're interested in uh, a specific industry, we, we do have uh, some uh, specializations that are specific, you know, to uh, sustainability, to uh, entrepreneurship, so you can make the most of the program by uh, really choosing what fits your professional goal. And I really recommend and uh, strongly recommend that you project yourself in the future. If you're joining a, a program, it's probably because you have some expectations, maybe in midterm, in the next five years, you see yourself as a top manager in a company. So we we really want you to look at the content and uh, as much as possible to get a lot of information about the options that you can choose from because then you, the program starts and uh, things go quite quickly so you have to uh, to really um, uh, decide what is uh, the most important uh, subject for you um, in the curriculum. Um, also, another specificity is we have uh, many partners um, worldwide, um, so you can take a dual degree, for example, or an exchange program. So during the second year, you get a possibility to um, select one of those partner universities and we have uh, those um, academic partnerships everywhere in the world. So that's also another possibility on top of being in Paris, you can study in another uh, country. Uh, so that's maybe the main, uh, main points. Um, obviously the program is also preparing you for the job market. So uh, there is a period of 10 months of mandatory work experience that you need to gain during the course um, of your master's program, meaning that a lot of students have to take a gap year or, or gap semester between year one and year two. And again, we really encourage you to have uh, maybe two experiences in two different companies to really try out, uh, you know, different sectors, different functions. So you can make up your mind about uh, where you see uh, yourself once you graduate from the school. So um, try as much as possible to uh, define your career goal. Obviously, we know you're uh, really young and you still have time to explore and change your mind, but try and see um, within the options that we offer what is the best, uh, best fit for you. So that's in a nutshell. Uh, obviously, if you have very specific questions about uh, some of the partnerships or some of the specializations, if you want to know more about the content, you can contact me anytime and uh, I can help you get uh, get more information before. So. Thank you so much, Natalie, for mentioning uh, all of this uh, uniqueness uh, of at the uh, ESP Europe, and uh, but I think another point uh, that can uh, interest 
uh, our um, international candidates can be that the, the career opportunities after doing a master's in management at ESCP Europe. Uh, sorry, I got I think there is a question about if the school is helping with the mandatory internships. Yes. I think it's a really interesting question. Uh, yes, we do help. Um, yes. Of course, yes. You you will have to look for the internship and apply and go through the uh, interviewing process, etc. But you have a lot of support from the school to prepare your CV, to prepare. We do mock interviews. You have a lot of uh, guidance coming from uh, the school itself, coming from the career service. So you can. Um, ask for their advice and of course they have access to a database of companies and uh, postings so we share them with you and uh, we really help you uh, secure those uh, those internships and then you also have access through the alumni association to mentorship uh, so you can have an alumni as a mentor we can help you so you do get a support system from the school, but obviously uh, you have also to work uh, to work for it. But the, the school is here to to assist you, definitely. And so maybe I can bounce to the next <laughs> question that yes, you. Yes, but it was a really good question. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. So yes, um, now for the career opportunities. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's a good transition. Um, you have uh, obviously uh, a lot of opportunities again created through uh, the network of alumni uh, from your peers. I know that a lot of um, students have joined companies because they're senior or doing an internship in that company. So it goes from one ESCP student to the, from one class to the next. Uh, from one year to another, uh, and I think it's also a great way to uh, get feedback, first-hand feedback on on uh, the company that they've been working at. So it's always a great, um, great chance to have uh, that opportunity. Um, maybe to give you some statistics, uh, you might be interesting in the in the figures. So 98% of our students uh, find a job within three months. Uh, after graduation, and 62% have secured a job before graduation. So um, that shows that you have a very strong uh, chance of, uh, of getting a job quite quickly, which I understand is a concern for some of you. And an interesting fact is also 46% of students end up finding a job uh, outside of their home country. So I know it's a question uh, that I get a lot. Do I get an opportunity to stay on in France if I want to after my master's uh, degree? Uh, yes, you you can. In most cases, you can. And uh, being a graduate from a, a master in management from Grande École really gives you um, a head start in terms of uh, uh, getting a job. Uh, for sure in the French market, and I would say in, in the European job market uh, as a general rule. Um, so that's one element. And then some of the industries that uh, recruit our students. So more than one third um, end up working in consulting as their first job. Then we have 25% in uh, finance, banking, insurance and 11% in IT or digital uh, industry. And then everyone else is working in many different uh, types of companies and um, some start their own businesses. So you have a lot of entrepreneurs. Um, and to give you an idea, the average salary, uh, starting salary is around 50,000 euros um, per year which also is a way of showing you that uh, you get a return on your investment. Uh, you invest in your future, but hopefully if you stay on in uh, France or in Europe after your master, you do get a chance to uh, uh, get your money back quite, quite quickly as well. So it's a, it's a great way of uh, um, securing that as well. Um, 
sorry, Natalie, but maybe you can uh, answer this question. Um, how could the master in management be interesting for uh, bachelor graduates since they already covered the basic business courses? Um, yeah, I see the question. Well, it's true that the vast majority of applicants uh, come from a different background than business. So uh, we do get a lot of engineers or students with a more of a scientific or technical uh, background for their bachelor studies, some in liberal arts, so they complement their um, initial uh, education for their bachelor with a program in management. But we also have a number of students coming from um, bachelors in business administration, uh, bachelor in economics, um, it can be um, for them a way to um, go a bit further, I would say, in the subjects because uh, it's actually a requirement for students who don't have a previous degree in business to take some catch-up courses. So we want to be sure that everyone is on the same page when it comes to the core courses. So everyone will have to go over accounting, finance, organizational behavior, all of the different uh, main disciplines of management and not everyone has covered uh, all those subjects during the course of their uh, BBA for example so uh, and I think we go a lot deeper into the topics and the uh, style the teaching style is also quite different from what you can find at uh, university so for example um, studying economics in a huge lecture hall where you take notes and you have 500 students is not the same as being in a business school where you have smaller classrooms. Usually you have a lot of space dedicated to discussions. You're encouraged to um, challenge the, the professors, challenge your classmates. Uh, it's a lot of uh, business cases, real life business cases. Uh, so not everyone has had the opportunity to do that, even if they studied um, management or, or business administration prior to joining the school. So I think it's also a different approach. Um, so that would be what the, the school is bringing, I would say, uh, as an added value. Yes. And just uh, one more question, Natalie, for you. Uh, do you think, um, do you have um, um, alternative education uh, within ESCP Europe or is it just um, training periods? Uh, we do offer the option of uh, apprenticeship. Uh, I know that the French regulation, as far as labor law is concerned, uh, has changed in the recent months. And as of today, if you don't hold a European passport, I think it's a bit difficult to get access to that apprenticeship uh, track. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you need to have lived in France at least one year prior to joining the school to be able to get uh, access to that. But that, that's possible in certain cases. And uh, yes, in the case of uh, apprenticeship, you have different options. Um, some of them are um, uh, an alternance of uh, days where you will be in the company and days where you will be uh, having classes in the same week. And you have another option, which is uh, blocks of uh, several weeks and where you will be working in the company and several weeks where you will be uh, studying. So different possibilities um, are offered. And of course, the school, again, can help you uh, find a company, um, wherever you can get the apprenticeship contract and you can uh, assist you obviously with the administrative part as well. So, uh, I see also a question about if I can apply to two different programs. Uh, yes, you can apply to the Master in Management and uh, at the same time apply, for example, to one of our specialized Masters or Master of Science. Uh, but it's not strongly recommended. Um, the reason being that for specialized masters, you usually have a very specific uh, 
subject and a specific expectation as far as uh, your uh, career options and career expectations. And I would say that the master in management is much more of a general management course. And you can specialize in the second year, but it's not the same, the exact uh, pos same positioning for the, the two programs, but it's still possible. So um, if you have uh, hesitation, obviously you can contact me, maybe send me a resume, we can have a chat together and we can help you and guide you uh, through the application process uh, for one program or the other, yes. Thank you so much, Nathalie, for this presentation. And um, now I think uh, I can see uh, one question about the GMAT. So <laughs> I, uh, I will uh, respond to this uh, type of question because we, we are going to the second part of this webinar about the technical part for our candidates uh, to, to apply for the Masters in Management in France through our different programs. Um, and uh, thank you so much for being here and uh, for your presentation. It was really helpful for the candidates. And um, see you, see you soon. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, you again. So thank you so much. And feel free to share my uh, email address, obviously, and my phone number with uh, uh, the students if they want to continue the conversation. If they have more questions for me, more specifically, I'll, I'll be happy to help. So. Thank you so, Thank so much for your help. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, guys. Uh, it's okay for you. I hope um, it was uh, really helpful for you uh, regarding the presentation uh, of Natalie. Um, uh, she was uh, so international recruitment and promotion manager at ESCP Europe. And now uh, we are going to the second part regarding uh, your application. So um, I think you are interested to do a master's in management in France. And uh, with Join a School in France, it's really clear between the school, the schools and join a school in France. Join a school in France is only the, the, the international voice. So um, we have the way for you to, uh, to, and to, to have the opportunity to go into a French school. Um, and, um, but it's really clear between us and the schools. So there is no difference. Uh, it's just the international voice. Um, so to to apply uh, through join a school in France, you have to speak English, of course, because the master's in management is only taught in English. Um, so French is not mandatory, and uh, you have to be less than 30 years old, or to have uh, to be 30 years old uh, within the year. Um, we 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 need um, we want um, inter uh, international students. Uh, who are graduated uh, with a bachelor degree or with the equivalent, uh, for example, a license or a bachelor degree uh, that is recognized in the country. So um, the the diploma must be um, it must be a foreign diploma, not a French diploma. We don't care about French diploma because we 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 need international students to go to France. Um, so it's really important. You have to be uh, sure that your diploma is recognized in your country or in the country where you where you were where you where you studied. Um, then um, you have to to start your online, your uh, online application, and uh, the online application uh, needs to to collect all the documents because we ask for many documents, and you have to prepare your application. It's really important because it takes time uh, because of the document that we ask to to enter into the French schools. Um, so um, just take time to read your question. Um, so Nathalie is staying. Um, she can uh, uh, ask. Um, she can uh, uh, respond to your questions. And uh, um, regarding the, the the score, for example, but for the for the program, for example, for joint school in France, uh, we don't ask uh, a minimum uh, score. Um, so um, for 
for the first step uh, of the process, you have to go on the website joinerschoolinfluence.com and to select your program, for example, management, because uh, join a school in France, you can also have engineering or fashion programs, but here it's for the masters in management, so you have to select management. Then you will have to file out a form with your personal data and to submit all your documents. The documents um, are, um, for example, academic transcripts, your identity card or a passport, um, your diploma, um, so the academic transcripts related to your diploma, um, and uh, the, the reference diploma is uh, the bachelor or the license, the equivalent. Um, you have to be, uh, you have to, 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 uh, we need um, that our students stay uh, uh, more than three, uh, three, year, uh, three years minimum uh, outside France. It's really important. It's a, it's a criteria really important, really important for the eligibility. And um, then you have to respect the delay. It's important because, uh, for example, now for session three, the deadline to finish your, your application is February 28th. So um, it's important to keep in mind uh, this date uh, because you will have um, the GMAT, for example, because we ask uh, written test, uh, the written test and also the English test, um, the written test, uh, the, sorry, the written test uh, is, for example, GMAT. Uh, um, uh, CAT, GRE, uh, it depends on the country, uh, also the Taj Maj, and it takes time, so you have to, to anticipate your action and to, to, to go on the website of, the, of these uh, different uh, tests. Um, whatever the test you, you want to choose, um, it's exactly the same. You can choose the GMAT, the Taj Maj, uh, the CAT, the, the GRE, it's the same for us. Um, it's just many possibilities. You go on uh, one of these uh, websites and you, you register to do the tests and then you will have the results. And we need, um, we need uh, in the submission of documents, you have to submit your um, official score. Um, it's the same uh, process for the English test. If you're not an uh, um, English uh, native speaker or if you didn't uh, realize your study in English, uh, you have to do an English test and to submit your English test. Um, you can go on our website to see uh, all the English tests and the process to do it. Join a school in France. Oh. Um, so, just a minute to see your questions. Um, if you want to, to, to do again the test, uh, it's possible, but you have to, to know that uh, our final session for September 2019 is in April, uh, so so it was not possible for this year. But um, but uh, we don't ask for a minimum score. But if you are not uh, satisfied of your of your score, you can uh, do it again. But uh, if it's in May, um, I think it will not be possible for this year. To, to, to join a master's in France uh, for September 2019, because we really need your uh, written test. Uh, it's, a, it's a criteria to be eligible for an interview um, uh, with, um, with the China School in France and to enter into this uh, top rank uh, schools. So um, if you don't have your test, it will not be possible for this year. Um, I'll cut off. Um, so, um, I would be soon to have great international exposure, but uh, I think that uh, it's um, it's better if you if you study abroad, of course, 
because we need uh, international uh, students with um, sorry with three um, three years abroad. Um, abroad it means uh, outside France, and uh, also um, um, it will be better for you because you have to speak English and. Uh, uh, because the master's in management is only taught in English, um, so French is not mandatory, and uh, uh, international exposure and a great uh, internship, uh, um, I think you can make it uh, into uh, ESCP, of course. Um, unofficial score. Yes, um, you can submit uh, your unofficial score. Um, but um, because uh, my colleagues Netap and Nancy, uh, they are specialized uh, for to respond uh, uh, and to 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 guide you um, uh, all along the process, all along the application process. And um, so Netap, I don't know if you know if you know her. Um, she is. Um, she will take your unofficial score and uh, your personal data. And she can go uh, on the website, uh, on the official website of the GMAT, uh, to see your score, to see your official score before uh, you receive uh, your, your official score. So you can submit the unofficial score, but it's not, um, you, you, you will have to, to submit again the official score. But we have a proof that, um, that, you, that you have done the test. But we, we need an official score, not an unofficial score. Mm -hmm. Can we do the application in French? Yes, of course. Um, you, you can, uh, you can uh, do your application in French or in English, whatever. Um, or in, or we are in France, so um, so the the, the schools uh, uh, speak French, speak English, speak Spanish. You can, uh, but it's better in French or in English, and whatever. And if you have a recommendation later in English, it's okay, it's perfect. If you have a recommendation later in France, in French, sorry, it's okay. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can accept accept it. So um, just to follow uh, with the process, um, then uh, so you have to submit all your documents and to respect the delay uh, because, uh, as I said, uh, this is a process that take, that ta that uh, takes time and um, you need to anticipate um, and then um, you will um, at the end of the deadline. Uh, you will have uh, the admission results. Um, so um, this is just to say that you you will be uh, eligible to take an interview. So the interview um, is organized all around the world. Um, so uh, so the announcement of the eligibility to do the interviews and the interviews are organized all around the world in French embassies, campus France, lycée français. Partner schools or chamber of commerce. Um, there are so there are French institutions abroad. Um, I think uh, in uh, in your country you you systematically automatically have a campus France or a chamber of commerce or a partner schools, um, a French partner schools, and uh, your interview uh, if uh, if you have submitted all the documents and if you respect all the criteria for the for the, the application you will have the chance to to do an interview so these interviews will be uh, in your country um, you will just have to select uh, your country uh, and uh, the the place uh, the location place uh, where you want to do the interview and um, uh, the interviews is around uh, 30 minutes maximum, 20-30 um, minutes in English or in French. Uh, you can choose uh, your language. And uh, the jury is composed of alumni. Uh, so the alumni is, are from uh, ESCP Europe, uh, HEC Paris, Schema Business School, Audencia Business School, and uh, UM Lyon Business School. So they really, they really well know um, your your 
your future schools. And um, I think uh, they are the best to to interview um, international candidates because they 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 are they were students in the in these uh, schools, and um, they will ask you some questions about personal skills, motivation, and general culture. But the um, the type of this interview uh, is most it is more um, it is. Uh, um, it is more focused on uh, motivation questions um, and uh, about your autonomy, uh, if you are independent, uh, if you can go to friends alone, if you if you if you have an entrepreneurship uh, um, mind, um, if you if you have some management skills, um, this type of questions. So um, the the last step is um, the admission results of course at the end of the interview uh, you will have um, i think uh, two two weeks um, before the interview I'm sorry two weeks uh, after the interview you will have the admission results all the admission results will be um, um, published on uh, on uh, each school's uh, websites so you will you will have to go to ESCP Europe website, HEC Paris website, etc., um, and to see um, your admission results. So maybe you will be eligible in one school, maybe several schools, or maybe any school. But I think uh, you you can have the chance to to be eligible to several schools. Um, I hope it and. Um, and then um, you you just have to to make your choice to to go to the school of your choice. So I think it's um, it's quite uh, clear for you. Uh, don't hesitate to ask me your questions. And um, so just one more. Can we do the application in French? But uh, yes, okay. I, um, I have responded to these questions. So I think it's clear for you. Um, don't hesitate to ask your questions if you have it. Um, just a, a recap: you can uh, ask all of your questions to my colleagues at Join School in France. The email address is Join School in France at cct. This is the email address. Ah, sorry for the questions. How many uh, members of the jury will meet, will we meet uh, during that? Uh, you will have um, two um, two jury members, um, two or three or four. The the minimum is two jury members and the maximum is four. So this is for the question. And should the recommendation letters be sent? It depends. Uh, for the recommendation letters, uh, your professor sometimes uh, some professors prefer to send uh, to send the recommendation later directly to 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 our team, or maybe um, the professor will uh, will give it uh, to you and uh, and you you will have to submit uh, uh, on the, on the website on the on the online application. Sorry. I hope it's clear for you. Don't hesitate to to ask me if you don't uh, understand my accent because I'm not um, I'm not English. So, but I do my best to speak English. <laughs> Should the recommendation? Uh, no. uh, I'm from India and my official language is English. Okay, so uh, for those of you who who are uh, English or who studied um, all of all of the studies was in was, were in English. Um, you you don't have to do the, the English test, of course. But um, for example, for the for the the American or for the for English people, you have to 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 submit a proof a proof that you are a native speaker. 
uh, that your mother tongue is English and that you're American, uh, that you are um, you are English. So you can uh, you can you can submit uh, your passport, for example, your identity card, or um, for the other one, you can submit uh, your academic transcripts where it's written that uh, all of the language of instructions is in English. Um, so this type of document, and we will uh, understand that um, that you don't have that you don't. You didn't do the, the English test because of your nationality or because of your um, language, uh, language of instruction. Do you prefer academic? Oh. We prefer academic uh, recommendation later. It's really important because it's, um, it's a program uh, to, to join a master's in management in top ranked schools. So uh, you are students and we ask for academic um, recommendation later. But sometimes it's difficult because um, some students have, uh, are for example uh, 29 or 30. 30 is the limit, okay? You don't have, you don't, um, you can't uh, apply um, after 30 years old. But for example, you are, 30, you are 30 or you are 28 and um, the schools, uh, um, you, you don't have a, a link with your former professors, so it can be difficult to have a, 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 um, a recommendation later. So we understand that a professional uh, recommendation later can be submitted, but um, at least one academic uh, recommendation later. And if you have only two um, professional um, professional recommendation later, in this case, um, you have to be con conscious that um, uh, you have less chance to be eligible. That's all. Is it clear for you? Um, because um, if you have more questions. Um, it's time, but um, you can uh, you can write uh, an email to my to my colleagues. Uh, the name of my colleagues are Metap and Nancy. Um, they they are specialized for your questions. Uh, they they take care of uh, your application and um, they they call you sometimes uh, to say hey hurry up uh, it's the deadline. Don't please uh, don't um, to make uh, um, make the effort do the effort to do your um, your online application on time, it's really important because uh, with more time, we can have also more time to, to, to see your application, to advise you, to, to make uh, your, your application the best as possible. Yes, of course, you have to do, to, you have to submit two academic, recommenda um, two academic uh, recommendation later. Can you repeat the name? Yes, there you go. Just the reference. The limits of lesson in Jibo with the reference. Um, yes, uh, for this part. For example, if you have, we, we need two academic recommendation later. Um, but if you, if you can't have uh, these two recommendation, uh, these two academic recommendation later, uh, we we accept to have one academic and one professional, but for those of you who, who can't have uh, these two academic recommendation letter of one academic and one professional, you can submit two professional recommendation letters. But this is not the criteria. The criteria is two academic recommendation letters. So. It's um, it's less chance to uh, for the schools. The schools prefer to have two academic recommendation letters. That's all, and uh, you you have to accept that uh, maybe your your application will be not um, not very good. Um, what does repre mean? Um, 
what do you want um i i don't understand what does referee means um about um what they what the referee have to for example what the professors have to do um have to write in your recommendation later Oui, bien sûr. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, there is a question in um, in French. Um, it's written that uh, is it possible to submit your documents uh, to submit uh, yes to submit your documents uh, without having your English test? It's possible, of course. When you have a document, you have to upload it. You submit it, and um, and uh, because. If you if you click on submit, uh, it doesn't mean that your um, that your application is over. Uh, you we can um, we can add uh, documents for you. It's not a problem. We can change and we can uh, we can um, we can add all the documents you want, uh, even if you you click on the submit. And uh, of course. Where you you can uh, you can start by uploading your documents and uh, to to finish it um, after. No, um, you don't have to trans to 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 translate your uh, transcript because um, if it's in UK, it's in English. Um, so um, there is no problem because you apply for the master's in management that is sold in English. So it's not a problem. Um, English is better. Uh, just for the, the the recommendation letters, I insist on the fact that you uh, don't have to. Uh, there is no uh, formats. Okay, you. Uh, we just need to see your name, your first name, that the professor is um, is happy, is uh, um, is um, yes, is happy uh, about your your behavior and uh, your grades, and um, we need uh, his uh, email address. Uh, we need all the contacts of the professor to have the proof that it's really your professor that wrote the the recommendation letter. For example, his phone number, his uh, email address, uh, the name uh, of uh, the schools. Uh, it's better if it's uh, stamped with, uh, with the school. So um, I'm not ready to consider. Um, this is a good question uh, for the last questions. Um, I think it can be possible because it's in July, and uh, but um, it depends on the school. I uh, I can't. I don't know. I don't know for these questions. I'm so sorry, but um, I um, I will do my best to answer it. Um, can you write your questions? Otman, uh, I um, advise you to write an email to my colleague Metap at Joint School in France and uh, you, you, you ask your questions and we will do our best to respond it, okay? So, um, sorry guys, but I have to go. Um, uh, more questions. <laughs> Just two questions and that's all. <laughs> so, la lettre de recommendation doit être de moins de combien? Um, there is no there is uh, there is no minimum for uh, the the recommendation letter. You ca um, it can be uh, a recommendation letter uh, from uh, 2016, 2017. Uh, it's okay. Um, but it's better if it's um, if it's uh, recent. All that I'm working is running on this level and I need help to balance a rich in that. Um, no, 
I don't think so. <laughs> um, sorry for this uh, question, Rebecca, but um, the score is just, a score is a score. Um, maybe, maybe it can, they will see that you 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 had a, a working experience in in London. It's perfect. It's great, but. Um, but if you if you think that your your GMAT score is uh, too low, um, you have to do it again. Maybe it it will be better because uh, sometimes the school um, see the score and uh, they will compare with the other one, and um, it can uh, it can be a disadvantage for you. But may for example. Um, this uh, argument uh, for uh, your working experience in London is an advantage uh, during the interviews because you can um, you you can you have an advantage um, you you worked and it was in a foreign country it was in English and you can um, you can highlight this experience um, during the interviews. Um, regarding the, the preference um, about the recommendation letter, there is no um, preference. Um, it can be from marketing, management, uh, um, design, uh, fashion, uh, whatever. Um, we just want a um, recommendation letter. That's all. Um, that's proof that you, you are a good uh, element. Uh, for the questions, um, uh, the jury members' questions during the interview, uh, it will be focused on the motivation and uh, regarding your professional project, of course, uh, your autonomy and your the way you you will uh, express uh, the well the way you will um, talk about uh, your your motivation, uh, your 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 wish to go to France, uh, the French culture, for example. You can uh, you can highlight this fact, and um, and uh, now you will have to see the replay <laughs> to 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 have um, all the information that I said about the, the application process. But now Hayak really I really need to go. So um, thank you uh, for being here. I hope it will be helpful for you and I hope to see you uh, in France uh, in September 2019. Thank you so much. Bye bye and uh, for the other one and for the other one who have more questions, don't hesitate to write us an email at join the school in France and Bye bye. I hope it will be good for you. And don't hesitate to follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and um, on Instagram very soon and also on uh, Facebook because on Facebook we have a group um, on Join a School in France um, Facebook and you you can ask all the questions and uh, it's uh, and we we can uh, we can uh, respond to you uh, really quickly thank you so much bye bye